Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Warzone 2. Warzone is finally out and what I want to do in this video is just to go over the menu, go over the features and stuff and take a look at things. So first off, when you launch Modern Warfare 2, you get greeted with this screen right here. There's a What's Hot section. There's, of course, then the Games section. And down here, Warzone 2 is located here if you want to play that. DMC is in its separate tab, so if you want to play DMC, that's where you want to go for that. But we, of course, want to take a clear look at Warzone, so that's what is the one that we click on. Then we have the different game modes down here. We got Battle Royale solos, duos, trios, quads. We also have something over here, third-person BR trios. That's interesting. That's going to be exciting to try out. And then up here, of course, we have weapons, which are our loadouts. Currently, I have two loadouts selected or two loadouts made i'm actually gonna go ahead and set this one to favorite and this basically works just like in modern warfare 2 multiplayer uh if you've played that the gunsmith and everything like that works just the same one thing that i have noticed though now in camos that might have just been part of the update maybe it was a bug for me personally i'm not sure but i wasn't able to see basically like the tree up here for what i needed to complete in order to get the gold um i w wasn't even able to see how the gold looked so that's at least something that now works for me i can now also see the platinum the polio polio atomic and the orion all of which look sick but yeah all of that works the same however one thing that i have noted this might just be because it's the release of also 2 in the perk packages i am not able to make my own my own perk package however i'm pretty sure that was stated in one of the notes that you weren't able to do that just at the beginning so you just have to live with the ones that you are given, but you're given some pretty decent ones actually, so that's not too bad. But you will be able to make your own perk packages from my understanding. Now if we go out into operators, we now have one big operator tree right here. If I want to select this guy, I just click him. If I want to select this guy, I click him. If I want to select this guy, I click him. And you can right click and then you can customize and then you can change your skin. And you can also change your operator finishing moves, which for me, all are locked except for lights out, which is the one I'm going to select here. I'm going to come back to the battle pass. I want to do that last because I have not unlocked it just yet. But we, of course, have customized. We got loading screens now, which currently I just have it, have it set as default map. You can set it to random. You can set it to randomize favorites. And then you've got a bunch of different ones here for me that are currently locked some are parts of a bundle as you can see right here so you'll need the bundle in order to get the specific um loading screen right here as some of them are just locked i assume you get them either through the battle pass or maybe through leveling up and of course you got all your calling cards and there is a huge list as you can see this tiny indicator right here is tiny that is a lot <laughs> and they're all in different sections so kill mastery zero out of eight collected in my case assist mastery zero out of six so you get them from from completing different things and they say it out here to the right as well so let's say i want to unlock this one get 25 operator kills with lethals get 50 get 100 get 200 and then at the end complete all lethal kill challenges to get this one so they all have challenges behind them basically and of course we have the store tab which we have season one battle pass we can learn more there we have the card points up here and we have some featured things right here or some bundles we got the executive warfighter right here i can Press this button to view the bundle and see what I actually get for the bundle. I get an operator skin, warfighter. I get a blueprint, short fuse. I get another blueprint for, I believe, a sniper rifle. I got a weapon sticker here, another weapon sticker, a loading screen. That's the loading screen that we saw before. And an emblem as well right there for the specific package. If we go over here into this one, we got some different content right here. And these are in the feature tab. We also have operators and identity. And then in here we have even more stuff. So they're all basically just a bunch of packages that you can get. You can also get the Vault Edition right here. And in this bundle you will get the Operators, Ghost, Soap, Price and Farah. Also 50 plus tier skips for the Battle Pass. And also some blueprints right here. Now we're getting to the juicy part, the Battle Pass. And I'm excited for this because basically the Battle Pass has changed this time around. So I'm going to go ahead and buy the Battle Pass. You're going to get the Vault Edition. There's the Battle Pass uh, bundle with the 2400 Call of Duty points. Then there's a normal Battle Pass right here for 1100. I'm going to get the 2400 just because I want to. I want to take a look at some of the stuff. And there we go. 
battle pass is now active. And there we go, I got the starting point right here and I get 20 battle pass tokens. You can also buy tokens as well. If I went in, you can buy a token basically like you would buy a tier skip from before. So now it's because this is the only area I have unlocked, so I want to actually unlock stuff in here. So I basically want to claim everything that is in here or we'll unlock it all. The high value target is now available. Unlock the high value target to complete the sector. So we claim this weapon blueprint, which looks sick, by the way. Don't know what gun it is. I don't care. It looks awesome. <laughs> and this is this then this sector unlocked. And as you can see now, sector complete, completed sector one has now unlocked adjacent sectors, unlock more sectors to access more rewards. So now I can choose, hold on, complete all sectors to earn 100% completion bonus, which is this one up here. And it says I'm 5% complete. So now I can choose, do I want to go right and unlock the stuff that is over here? This is a new weapon, for example, I might want to go for that. And then we also have this blueprint right here. Or do I want to go towards this part of the battle pass. Is there anything in here that I might want? That knife camo kind of looks cool and you don't have to go just in one direction. I have 15 card, uh, battle pass tokens remaining. I can go ahead and let's say I want the knife. Boom, I got the knife, but then I'm, I'm backing out. That's the only thing I wanted from that section. I go ahead and this is a blueprint for the shotgun. So I'm gonna take that. I'm all definitely want the extra XP token. Also want the call duty points because who doesn't? Tactical AF, uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I'll, I'll take that as well. And now high value target is now available, which is Barrage, looking strong, steady. And I'm gonna want to take this in order to unlock the next adjacent point. So I'm gonna take that and that is now done. And these two are now available. So if I go into this one, Definitely got to take the extra weapon XP token. King's Skull, that's a large decal. I want that. And of course, you're going to have to take some things that you're not particularly interested in. Like I don't use weapon charms and that stuff a whole lot. But because I want the new weapon, I am of course going to have to claim these things in order to get to the weapon itself, the high value target. And there we go. I took this one and now I am moving towards this operator. However, I might not be interested in the operator. However, I do want this. <laughs> I also want this and I want this Ooh, and I also want this. Yes, I also want this. So that's it. That's something to remember as well. Just because there's a main item or a high value target doesn't mean that there's nothing else of interest. For example, in this one, I'm really interested in this sniper blueprint which is definitely something that I want to go for. But that basically wraps up this video. Hope you found it helpful. If you got questions, do let me know down below in the comments. Subscribe if you're brand new, enable those notifications. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next one or in the battlefield. Who knows? That's up to you. Have a wonderful day and until next time, goodbye.